Bitcoin, Ethereum and the entire crypto market with a nice move to the upside. So are we seeing a new all time high next on Bitcoin? Are we seeing a new yearly high on Ethereum? This is what we will be looking at in this video. So um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy and let's have a look at the chart here. So actually on Bitcoin, we have seen a really nice move to the upside over the past, what was it? It was actually the past 20 days. So that's really nice. So Bitcoin back with some nice moves to the upside after a little bit of a consolidation here. So uh, yeah, let's look into what happened down here real quick. Because if you all remember the last public YouTube video I did, I was actually looking at the long trade down here. And that was very simply based off the range low. Okay. So one of the scenarios I was looking at was the failed auction down here. Okay, so what we can see is price did indeed form a failed auction down here. We did see the nice four hour closes above the level. And for me, that was a valid long trade entry. So if we remind ourselves of what I was looking at in this YouTube video, I was looking it at exactly this. So looking at a few candle closes below this range low. I was looking for the reclaim of the, le the level and that was my long trade entry. Okay, so here we can see I'm in this Bitcoin long trade entry price for me was 58,948. So ever since that was a very easy ride for me. Okay, so I have quickly hit a take profit one, which was the retest of this value area low. And ever since I'm just riding this trend. So I did take another take profit here on this big range point of control, hit another take profit one on the value area high. And now guess what? I am holding my trade for a new all time high. Okay. So um, let's have a look at what level exactly, because there is one key level, which probably some of our champions members know how I came up with this level. But this is my next key level, which is sitting at at 74,846. And in fact, this is my next take profit on my long trade. Okay, but let's have a look at what's likely to be happening here. So uh, can we expect a pullback? Can we just expect continuation of this trend? Okay, for this, we obviously have to look at the lower time frames. Okay, so so far, what I like to see is that on the daily time frame, we did close a candle, a daily candle above the value area high. And so far, the value area high is acting as support. Okay, so so far, there is no major sign of weakness. I'm not seeing any bigger weakness here. And we can also confirm this on the lower time frames, which is something I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay. But um, yeah, for context, this is already very important. Okay, so now there is something we have to keep in mind as traders. Okay, so there is a little bit of a misconception with some traders that they think they have to be in a trade or that they have to pull a trade every single day. Okay. But in my opinion, that's not the right place to do so. On Bitcoin, we did see the nice move to the upside. And if you paid close attention, you are all sitting in a really nice long trade alongside me. Okay. But up here, you really have to think to yourself, do you want to be pulling long trades here? OK, we've seen this big of a move to the upside. Is it really a good risk to reward to be placing a long trade up here? Because let's just have a look at this. Let's just test it. OK, so say I was looking at a long trade here. Where would my invalidation be? It has to be below this low because this would still maintain bullish market structure on the higher time frames. Target would be this key level. And that is not even a one to one risk to reward ratio. So for me as a trader, I'm saying, yep, yeah, that is not a long trade. I am OK with taking in terms of risk management. I'm not going to take it. OK, I'm riding this long from down here. But for me, there is no new long trade to be had up here. OK, so this is not something I'm looking at. So um, at the same time, we can look for potential short trades as we are nearing the range high. OK, but there is something that keeps me a little bit hesitant of taking short trades up here. And this is the structure of these highs. OK, so 
When we look at this, we can see this is a lower high structure. And for me as a trader, I'm always thinking about liquidity points, okay? And in my opinion, there's quite a bit of liquidity that is building up here, okay? Because think about all these short traders, which entered short trades in here and keep their invalidation above these highs. So there's a high probability of at some point getting all these or triggering all these stop uh, stop losses and yeah maybe end in an sfp into my key level so this is something i am interested in but before that i'm not really looking for short trades here okay so it is what it is but sometimes as traders we have to be a little bit more patient okay but i'm obviously not gonna just do a live stream without or not doing a, a youtube video without looking at any levels i'm interested in so um, let's actually um, try to analyze what's happening here. So what I said was that was a nice long trade off the range low. This was a sign of weakness with, uh, sorry, sign of strength with this move to the upside, okay? We can see on the daily time frame we are in a bullish environment, bullish market structure, okay? And there's something we have to look at, which is the 67K level okay so this is our big range point of control and we can see price was struggling to get above this level once twice three times we tested it again here which was four five and six so we can see throughout this yeah the last month i would say this 67k area was a very key level so the way i would look at this is that this is a nice supply zone because we can see price was unable to break above this level on the first attempt so this is now a valid supply zone and whenever i'm looking at a supply zone which we broke out of okay and this was a fairly strong break out of this level i'm looking for a potential supply into demand flip okay obviously if you don't know this theory um this is something we teach at chart champions okay i'm doing many live streams even live trading streams where i go into detail much more in depth about these supply and demand flips okay so we can see 67k area is going to be very interesting we also do have a naked point of control lining up with this area okay and there's also a daily level right below so this is more of the lower term time frame. This would only be for a day trade, okay? But this is actually something I'm looking at, okay? Because here we can see price is maintaining the bullish market structure. And as long as this area is, is acting as support, this would still maintain the bullish market structure, okay? So this is something I'm looking at and this is going to be my next area for at least an intraday support, okay? Around the 67k, I want to see these lows acting as support, okay? So I want to see another higher low to be put in for then potentially aiming for a new all-time high, okay? So at least for me, that's worth placing an alert at this area, just playing this strength, okay? Just playing the trend on Bitcoin. If we then look at the slightly higher timeframes again on the daily timeframe, I'm gonna clean my chart a little bit here. I wanna hide this one and this one. So for me in trading, it's all about keeping the charts as clean as possible. I don't wanna, yeah, I don't want to have a cluttered chart, so I want to see everything very clean, okay? So, if this 70, 67k area does not act as support, I am actually going to look for a full value rotation, okay? Because this would also mean that we would get acceptance into the value area high again. And my next area is going to be the 62k area. So for me, I'm going to take it level to level. If this level doesn't hold, I'm looking for my next level, which also does have some nice confluence on a weekly on the value area low and a very nice Fibonacci level we all like to look at, which is the CC, okay? So for me, there are two levels of interest to the downside, and there's one level of interest to the upside, which is this key level up here, 
and I am going to place an alert for every single level. Once we hit this level, I am going to check the auto flow. I will check the reaction and see if I actually want to take a trade or not. Okay. So this is as simple as I would keep Bitcoin. So my bias is definitely still for higher to make a new all time high. And until I'm proven otherwise, I'm just sticking with my long trades from down here. No new long trades up here. So it is a time to be patient, which is a skill everyone has to master in trading. Okay, there is no point and trust me, it's not going to work out well if you just try to take trades everywhere, trying to force trades. It's always best to wait for those high probability trades and take much, much better trades in terms of risk to reward. Okay. So as you all know, I also like to trade Ethereum. So I want to review the Ethereum chart real quick as well. Okay. And on Ethereum, we actually have seen a much bigger move to the upside compared to Bitcoin, which is nice to see because I really like to trade Ethereum. Okay. And I am sure that the champion members are very happy with what we were seeing here. Okay. So in my last altcoin weekly update, which I'm hosting over on our website. So let's have a quick look at the setup I was looking at. Okay. So here over on our website, I'm hosting a weekly altcoin update. Okay. So this one was from last week. And I was looking at this here on Ethereum. Okay, so we have just seen another test of the top of the pitchfork. Price was trying to change market structure here with this move above that high. And I was actually looking for this nice long trade down here. It was a CCW long trade on the value area low. Okay, and yeah, let's have a look at how this played out because actually we have seen a beautiful yeah, I would even call this a pump to the upside. Okay, so we can see that down here, the level I was looking at after the market structure change, that was the exact level we bounced off of. And yeah, price was just going up and up and up. So we can see, let's measure this real quick. That was a move of 30% to the upside. So this is just beautiful. I think the champions are very happy with the call I made last week. So we can check this right here. So that is my entry on ETH against USD Tether. Okay, so not just talking about trades, I'm putting my money where my mouth is and we can see entry price is at 2937. And the current price where I was taking the screenshot 3754. Okay, so that was a very decent long trade. And yeah, I, I hope you all appreciated this call. Okay, if you obviously want to get these um, altcoin streams yourself, if you want to watch them yourself, you can head over to our website over at chartchampions.com. You can see it in the video library. library. We have all of these contents every week, so many live streams. And yeah, you can even rewatch all the old altcoin streams I did because some of them do have some setups which are about to be hit. Okay. Um, yeah, but with that being said, let's have a look at what Bitcoin, uh, sorry, Ethereum is doing here. Okay, so obviously it's very similar to what uh, Bitcoin is doing. Is it a good idea to place a long trade up here? Okay, because as traders, as I already said, we have to view everything in terms of risk to reward. So would this be a good idea. This would be the invalidation down here. That is a very wide stop loss and the target would be a new yearly high. I don't think that is a good idea with a 0 0.5 risk to reward. Okay, so this is nothing I'm looking at. So I can already say I'm not interested in a long trade. I'm only interested in trailing my stop loss for the existing long trade. Okay, so at the same time or the next thing I would always do as a trader is see can I actually look for a short trade? Are we at some key resistance? The way I like to look at it is split a range into a dot two five range. Okay, we can see the dot seven five. Yes, that is some some resistance and we can see prices struggling up here. But for me, that's not enough. Okay, so I need to see are there any further confluences? And we can see we didn't hit the day, the weekly. There is no 
um, there is no naked point of control. So for me, I would say no. That's not really a key level, so I'm not looking at a short trade up here, and I am actually looking for higher on Ethereum, okay? There's one area, this is not really for a trade, okay? But here it's about trade management, okay? So in terms of trade management, I want to see this area right here act as support, okay? So I don't want to see Ethereum getting accepted below the 3600 area. Now why is that? Okay, so let me hide this once again. We can see that is the range value area high. And with this massive move to the upside, we always have to be a bit careful, okay? What shoots up that quickly can also retrace very quickly, okay? And this is a very sensible place because that's the range value area high. We don't want to see acceptance into the value area high because otherwise we could potentially see the, the full value rotation all the way down to the value area low. This again is also lining up with previous demand. We tested it one, sorry, supply. We tested it once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. Okay, so this is definitely a previous supply zone. Okay, we can see price was unable to break this area and now we actually closed the daily candle above. Okay, so we want to see this area act as support on the retest for me. Okay. This is not really a place where I would look at it, look for a long trade because as I said, yeah, I don't really like the invalidation here, but now it's about active trade management and I am going to place an alert here and see how we react. So if we get acceptance back into the value area high, this is where I'm scaling out of my long trade because I don't want to give away profits unnecessarily. Okay, so I'm still in this long trade. I'm keeping a position open, although I've hit some take profits. But if I see a sign of weakness, this is where I have to say as a trader, okay, the probabilities change. Maybe we are not going for the old, for the yearly high right away. So I'm going to scale out of my long trade at least partially. Okay. But on Ethereum, the next level I'm looking at in terms of resistance is going to be this yearly high as this is also some unfinished high structure. I also like the number, okay, 4,100. Let's make it a rounded number. And yeah, we can always be aware of a scenario like an SFP or failed auction of this yearly high. If that is the case, I would look for market structure changes for a potential short trade entry. Until that is the case, I'm staying in my long trades only, no short trades on Ethereum, and I am still expecting higher prices to come. Okay, so this is the one scenario I'm looking at in terms of levels to the downside. Yeah, we have tested this pitchfork so many times. So I would honestly say after we had this perfect long trade, I am not really interested in another long trade on Ethereum unless I see some lows being taken, okay? Now that this trade played out so perfectly, I'm gonna give it some time, see how this plays out. My next level is gonna be this range low, okay? Here I would look for a very simple SFP. Do we get the close above? This would be long trade scenario number one. If that is not the case, we do spend some time below. I'm looking for the reclaim of this level, reclaim of the value area low, Okay, and then this could be another long trade entry. Okay, so I'm preparing myself for the levels above, for the levels below. In between here, it's my responsibility as a trader to say that there is no good trade and I have to remain a little bit patient. So, um, yeah, with that being said, this is actually all I'm looking at on Ethereum and on Bitcoin as a reminder once again. So, you can check out our website over at chartchampions.com where we deliver so many live streams, live streams every single day. And tomorrow there's going to be the altcoin weekly update. Okay, so I think you don't want to miss out on this one as that has been a very, very profitable, uh, profitable stream throughout the last week. And yeah, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. So see you in the next one and goodbye.